guys, it is Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom, and today I am going to be flipping through my mini and my classic size happy planners for July and August. So it looks like I already have it zoomed in for the mini, so we'll scoot the classic out of the way. I keep a band around this one because this is actually my like my purse planner. It's on the go. Um, so I try to keep it around it to keep it safe. Now this is the Beach Vibes Mini. I've switched out the cover. This is from Stylish Planners. Um, she does have a website. I have a link down below. Um, should have a coupon there too, I think 15% off. Um, anyway, I only keep six months at a time on both of my planners just because it makes things easier for me. So we will start right here with July. Now one of the things is I don't have the currently page in here because I don't use the currently page and it was the last page for the last week of June. So yeah, um, I didn't really use the monthly in here too much because we didn't have a whole lot going on. No, like I had an appointment over here, but um, yeah. It just kind of fell by the wayside. I knew what the appointment was um, because prior to decorating the monthly spreads, I keep sticky notes in here. So I was able to know everything that I needed to know and just kind of go from there. So here we have the first week. I did cover up some days. This is actually 4th of July week, but I didn't want to go with a like Americana color scheme. I went with rainbow and um, holographic foil and I really love this. This might be one of my favorite favorite spreads ever for my mini especially. Um, it's just so pretty and I use some Simply Gilded Washi. This one was a real surprise. Um, I had no idea where this was going when I was doing it and um, yeah it actually turned out fairly cohesive so I really like it. I think I used the um, Planner Basics and this one and some of these other ones like the yellow and green ombres looks like they for they're from the productivity sometimes words escape me this week we were at my mom's and i i loved this i had been saving these leaves for like ever since i got that sticker book for whatever week I happen to go and visit my mom and i just i love how this turned out i just kind of put like the main things that we had going on like highlight events that sort of thing so it really I thought it came out really wonderful I loved it this week was a little more low-key um so I think I forgot to mention that like I keep track of like shopping lists so I didn't have to do any shopping over here normally I have shopping lists on both sides of my page but so far for July I did it differently like every single time um, again like I said I don't use the currently page I did remember to fill out August I like how this turned out where I used washi tape to block out the like boxes that weren't actually part of the month and then anything that was a recurring event for this month I put over here in the sidebar instead of clogging up the monthly spread itself because the mini is so tiny so we would have two soccer practices on Tuesdays and Thursdays and then yeah so because it was just a little too much I didn't I keep it in the sidebar this was my birthday week yep there it is um so I went with like a florally color um from the cheese happy book I love how it turned out I think I might have incorporated some of the daydreamer in that uh, this was with the seasonal sticker book, the orange seasonal sticker book. I love this sticker. Um, I kind of like the idea of using oversized stickers in my mini because why not? Especially like I'm keeping track of lists and appointments. So if I don't have a whole lot going on, it just kind of makes sense to put something there. This was fun. This is silver foil. Um, I didn't have a secondary shopping list, so that poor sticker didn't get used. Um, but I used the new coordinated sticker sets that were sold at Joann's um, and this was the Beach Vibes. I thought it would be perfect because I have the Beach Vibes mini planner um, and I kind of am kicking myself that I didn't get two sets of the Beach Vibes sticker packs. 
I love this color combination. So again, I went with like that holographic trendsetter um, colors. And what I did was I wanted to turn some of the things that weren't hollow foil into hollow foil. So I took the confetti stickers from the trendsetter and did it up. Um, this is the current week, actually. Um, I'm filming this on Sunday. So I didn't actually have any other shopping list. This was my mom's birthday. So this, I keep it in here so that I can easily page right to whatever the current week is. Um, and I'll move this probably after this video at this point. But I went with all pink and gold and flamingos to celebrate my mom's birthday. And that is it for my mini. And now we have my classic. So it's already September, so I have switched out my planner cover to my um, autumn cover. Again, it's another one from Stylish Planners. I just love the pumpkins. And we will get right to July. Make sure you guys can see pretty well. Um, so I ended up covering the days that weren't in the month down here with some pretty cute planner washi. I had goals of reading this summer and I ended up not reading anything. I tried to get into a book and I think it just wasn't my thing. So I had trouble sticking with it. This spread, I hated it. But like looking at it right now, I actually am really liking it. It's bright. It's fun. Um, I loved being able to use this sticker. Um, I ended up pulling this sticker into the spread to try to salvage it and make me love it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I definitely am loving it now that I'm looking at it. So that was 4th of July week. Again, I didn't feel like going with an Americana, there you go, um, an Americana color scheme. I just, just didn't want it. Um, here is a kit from Lil Annabelle's Plans. This was the week before for going to New Jersey. So I was all excited. So I wanted to go with like a more like beachy theme. I loved the bottom washi that she had down here. And I was excited I was able to use a pool day sticker. I didn't get to use it a whole lot this summer just because of how much it, oh yeah, that came from the kit, um, how much it rained over the summer. This was the week we went to New Jersey. This was Squad Goals. I was really excited. I was saving the Squad Goals sticker book for the for this spread um, just because it was so beachy. So I love being able to use the girls everywhere. And I loved this sticker. It just seemed very perfect to incorporate it for this week. Oh, I forgot I had used that there. This was a fun spread to do. Um, I did struggle a little bit because of the yellow pen, just writing in yellow. It didn't really turn up as well as I had hoped. So I had to like color everything in. Um, I attempted to outline the yellow pen over here and it just hated it. It looked really bad. Uh, but I ended up using it more as like an accent color. So like I used it over here as like a little squiggle and some squiggles in the corners and as borders. So I thought that came out much better. I went to Joanne's on that day and then I went like the following weekend too. Wow, that's funny. Oh yeah. Oh, at the start of every month and I'm going to have to move this to September. Um, this is just my dinner's menu. I kind of want to update it and make it pretty because yeah, why not? Um, so my August monthly spread again. It wasn't until after I had started to put pen to paper that I realized we have the monthly tasks down here on the monthly spread everywhere. And it's basically what I was doing up here. So for September, you'll notice I, oh, I haven't filled it in yet. I should fill that in. But that's what I'm using the monthly tasks for for September now that I have it figured out. So yeah, my monthly spreads just kind of get used to put together the recurring tasks and anything that like birthdays I've got on here and any other like events or whatnot that I don't want to forget about so I can remember to put it into my weekly because I definitely reference the weekly more, but this helps me to plan everything out at a glance. So I do use it. Oh my gosh, this might be my favorite spread in my classic. I loved it. I used one of those tiny sticker pads. It was the Pretty Pastels or whatever the name of it is. It was my birthday week. 
I used fun colored pens. It just, it came together in every way I could have imagined and I could not have been happier. It was, it was the best, it was everything. And this one was fun. This was actually from the Be Happy box um, that was limited edition and Mambi came out with back on the 4th of July. I really loved these stickers. This one didn't say chores, it was just a chores sticker from mm, probably the mom book, I think, um, that I stuck up there just so I could keep track of my chores. But it was a really low key week, which most of August ended up being, oh, I forgot about this spread. I don't know. I might might have liked this one more than my birthday week, actually. I, I love jewel tones. I love it so much. Now, I'm filming this before the Happy Planner reveals and everything, and I'm kind of hoping that the social light is jewel tones. It just kind of looks like it will be. Um, but I love this super dark blue and the teal. Um, I tried to incorporate teal as much as I could because of it being on the on the paper, so on the planner itself. So that's where that kind of came in. This was very interesting to do. Um, my friend Tia had messaged me and a few other girls asking if we wanted to do a no white space challenge. And I took her up on the offer to try it out. Um, I like how this looks. It definitely felt functional, but it didn't feel like me. So, but I, I mean, like I used so much foil and I used stamps to try to make it happen. So I definitely tried to get creative. So it was fun because of that. Um, but like I put down boxes that ended up not being used. We got really busy. My husband had to work late. So we missed our movie night. Um, I had this here and then I was like, I have nothing to put there. So I just put enjoy the last days of summer. Um, so I, I made it work, but it definitely didn't feel like me. And then here we are, you know what, there we go. Um, so here we are, we have a full view of this week. Um, I loved this, this was the first day of school this week, so I wanted to go with something that was fun, bright, bold, fun. Um, and I definitely got that from this spread. I used a lot of Trendsetter, which is funny because I wanted to use the Bold Brights sticker pad. And I ended up using a couple, only a couple of stickers from it. I think those were the only two that were from it. I don't think this one was. It might have been, but I think that was actually Trendsetter. But yeah, that puts us up to today when I'm filming, and this will go up later on in the week. But yeah, that is my flip through of my two planners for July and August. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on my other videos. And I will see you guys later.